Let God Control September 5 Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Psalms 127 verse 1 God desired that the earth should be filled with joy and peace. He created man for happiness, and he longs to fill human hearts with the peace of heaven. He desires that the families below shall be a symbol of the great family above. Christian homes, established and conducted in accordance with God's plan, are among his most effective agencies for the formation of Christian character and for the advancement of his work. Home should be made all that the word implies. It should be a little heaven upon earth, a place where the affections are cultivated instead of being studiously repressed. Our happiness depends upon this cultivation of love, sympathy, and true courtesy to one another. Let your home be such that Christ can enter it as an abiding guest. Let it be such that people will take knowledge of you, that you have been with Jesus and have learned of him. The home in which the members are kindly, courteous Christians exerts a far-reaching influence for good. Other families mark the results attained by such a home and follow the example set, in their turn guarding their homes against evil influences. Angels of heaven often visit the home in which the will of God bears sway. Under the power of divine grace, such a home becomes a place of refreshing to worn, weary pilgrims. Self is kept from asserting itself. Right habits are formed. There is a careful recognition of the rights of others. The faith that works by love and purifies the soul stands at the helm, presiding over the entire household. The greatest evidence of the power of Christianity that can be presented to the world is a well-ordered, well-disciplined family. This will recommend the truth as nothing else can, for it is a living witness of its practical power upon the heart.